full-time family van life continues this week as we travel south through Sweden, enjoying some of the beautiful nature that this country has to offer. But first, as per Santa's recommendation, we're heading to the largest candy store in Europe. Babe, what are you doing? Huh? I'm getting a bag. <laughs> what are you going for? Go on. Oh, I don't know. Some Rolos? No, not some Rolos. I'm not going to waste on Rolos. I need to put this down so I can get my own bag. You ain't getting a bag. <laughs> Alright, let me have a peek inside your bag. No, wait, let me eat some bag. Let me eat some bag. how much you've got. No, yeah, I'm eating some first. Compared to mine. Go on, go on. That's what he's got. Let's have a look. Okie dokie. Let's have a look at mine then. What do you want? Pair them. I'll pick one. That's yeah. mine. What's heavier? They're actually about bang on, you Are know. They? Mm -hmm. Oh, we're so in tune, babe. Oh, jeez. Oh, <laughs> Tell me right off, you sweet. Happy birthday to. <laughs> Is that your birthday cake, Ted? Yeah. That's not your birthday, cheeky. So we've had another big day of driving today. We did five hours, which took us further south through Sweden, and we've ended up at a really nice campsite. The plan was to get a campsite because we really need that washing machine and that tumble dryer. Unfortunately, the washing machine and tumble dryer are all booked up tonight, all booked up tomorrow morning. So we've actually had to book in for two nights. But it's absolutely beautiful, not too expensive. I think it's about 26 pound a night, which is pretty good for where we are. We're on sort of a little islandy bit and right near the water, which is beautiful. The kids are just like jumping over the rocks and, and just playing with the water. That's Richard flying the drone over my head, which you might see some nicer uh, shots soon in the video. Um, but yeah, it's really nice. So we think we're just gonna chill out a bit. It should be good. Wheels, babe. Eh? And a new bike. Oh, that's actually that's, that's cool. I didn't realise that. What? That doesn't turn with the wheel. Oh, okay. I was like, oh, it's loose, but it You don't need to take a bag, actually. You packed a bag ready, but you don't need I know, need I can one. get my stuff just in front of it. It'll look quite cool, wouldn't it? That would look but I need really my wallet, cool. though. That's the only problem. Oh, that's true. Take the bag, but I do expect you to uh, fill up that basket when you come back later. Okay. Let's I'll eat it all. <laughs> I'll eat it all on the way back. Then. So what are we actually getting? We need milk. Oh, you need to write a list because I will forget. And I'm not cycling. This is what? <laughs> this is like this seven miles round trip. Seven miles, yeah. Seven so it's 20 miles. minutes there, 20 Kid minutes. Free. 20 minutes back. You'll love it. I know, I'm going to go really slow. Right, what do we want Daddy to get from the shop, guys? We need to put our request in and write him a list. Uh, I don't know. Don't know? I know. Well, it's going to be lunchtime when Dad gets back, so... Uh, crisps. Crisps, that is good, Jack. That's what I was thinking. Chris, we know he needs to get milk, so we'll get milk, crisps. I need to write a list on my phone. Yeah, we'll write it. you a list, I don't, don't worry. Know. Right. I'll see you in a couple of hours. Not a couple of hours, it won't take that long. <laughs> hour and a half, I reckon. I'll look at the time and see what time it is. Yeah. 
you're lucky. I think it's going to rain soon. I think it is. Yeah. I got back just in time. Yeah. I know how much he spent because it came through on my phone. So oh, I was thinking, it? how much is he going to get for 20 pounds? And that's what it was. Was it 20 quid? 20 quid, yeah. So let's have a look in your car. All right, you want to see what I've got? I'll put it on the table. All right, go on. We've got one milk. We've got two milk. Some rice crisps. A bit of bread. A lovely baguette for lunch. Oh, nice. I've got a little bit of cheese. A little bit? You know what? It was a bargain. They had a smaller packet, and I was like, "Oh no, mate!" This Are you is sure varied. it was a bargain? Yeah, this was a varied pack. It was about eight quid. Oh, babe, have you seen the size of our fridge? I know, but I have optimism. I oh bought some of that. I did put some. I, I put some Budweisers in there. Yeah. But they didn't have any. Anything for me? Anything for you, apart from a big bottle of rosé, which I like. Is like, mmm. It's always a bit. But what dodgy. did you do? Mandarins. Are they instead of the beer? And. A little gift for my wife on a wedding anniversary. Oh, look. isn't that oh, nice? That. Yeah, we go. We're sharing it. Mm. Right, so we've arrived at Gamla, Uppsala. Is that right? Gamla, Uppsala, Gamla Uppsala, which means old. I was going to do that bit. <laughs> no, I'm doing that bit. <laughs> Gamla means old. <laughs> So yeah, and we've been finding that we, did, we didn't really know too much about this place. So there's signs out, and we've been finding out a few facts. Richard took a few snaps on his phone so that we can uh, tell you some of those facts about where you're we are. You're not supposed right to tell him that, so it makes it's it look fine, like I know what I'm talking fine. about. You don't know what you're talking about. You weren't going to get away with that. <laughs> Go on, then hit us with some facts. Okay, so these are royal mounds, and there was a time when people believed they were put here by uh, the god Freya, and that his descendants. King Un, Agil and Adults, I think I've pronounced them right, uh, are buried in them. And the mounds were excavated in 1846 and 1847 and they found many artefacts like silver, gold, uh, silver plates, um, a goshawk, they also, I think you read that they also found a woman's Yeah, so it's supposed to be the burial bones. mound of a man. All the artifacts are to do with a man. But they also, f well no, they found, the, the bones they found were actually female bones. Mm -hmm. So they wondered whether she might have been like a sacrifice type thing. But they never actually found the, the male bones. They could still be lying in there basically. Yeah. But they were burnt. So they, the body would have been put on like yeah. a bear skin. Uh, along with the goshawk, which was the hunting goshawk. Uh, as well as, I think said, horse, uh, dog, um, and then lots of silver and gold, um, and it would have all been set alight. Uh, sounds good, doesn't it? <laughs> Go and style. It's really pleasant, yeah. really pleasant stuff, guys. Yeah. Sacrifices, burned alive, not burned mm -hmm. alive, but burn. No, not burned you know. alive. We're going a bit off topic now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's not very of, joyful yeah. stuff either way. Mm. Uh, it's the, the weather's a bit shocking as well, so we've just found shelter under this tree, so we could uh, we could record a little bit. But um, I think it's I think it's stopped raining a little bit now, isn't it? It's calmed so, down, but we still have got the church to go yeah. to. So. And we'll try and get a few um, a bit of video of the burial mounds because we've not been able to get any yet. So we'll try and try and show you guys that as well. <laughs> What's the matter, Piper? Duck it's recording. I have a wet bottom. You got a wet bottom? Yeah. Me too. <laughs> Right, so maybe we'll see the church just behind me a little bit there, but we actually can't go go really inside. There seems to be a funeral going on, so um, yeah, we've had a little glimpse, but we're just going to head back to the van now. I think we've got an hour's drive to our next spot, which I think is another another Viking burial mound, I think. Richard picks these. Um, so yeah, we're going to go back. Hopefully the kids have a bit of a sleep on the way there. And then yeah, I think we're also stopping there for the night. Good morning. So we actually arrived at the other burial mound last night, but it was around dinner time. So we just decided that we'd just have dinner and relax for the evening. And then this morning we've come out, come out of the van and we're going to go and have a look at the burial mounds. I think these ones you can actually walk over the tops which will be quite good. We couldn't do that at the ones we saw yesterday. So the kids will be pretty happy with that, running over the tops of them. Um, yeah, let's go and see what they're about. Mm. 
would have carved out, or they would have carved all of it. Yeah. So Richard's just helped educate me a bit. We're obviously stood on top of this big burial mound. Now I thought that maybe it was such a big burial mound because it contained many bodies underneath, but in fact, it is just so big and it only contains one, one body. Basically, the bigger the burial mound, apparently, which he tells me, the more important the person. I'm not an expert here. Well, <laughs> I'm not an expert. Don't hold him to that. Yeah. So we think maybe the size of this one signifies the importance of the person buried underneath. So perhaps it was a king or something. But what is it? The largest burial mound? It's the largest burial mound in Sweden. Yeah. And one of the reasons they're so big is because you can see them from afar. And, you know, if you can see it from afar, that sort of symbolizes how important this person was. So it probably is a king, but we haven't read any of the signs. Yeah, we so, don't know yet. Maybe we should um, go and read some this signs. This one could be talking blue, a gibberish. <laughs> We'll go and see if there are any signs that tell us and we'll, t we'll let you know if we're wrong. There we are, we have found ourselves an amazing park up today. I'll get you some water because we are right next to this absolutely glorious lake. So nice. Are you going in, Pip? I don't know. <laughs> you got here and you wanted to get straight in your costume, didn't you? Uh. And now you're just not so sure. <laughs> it is lovely. Jack, can we do it together? There we are. I don't know if you can see this. I'll try and zoom in. But Richard's inside the van. Don't hide, come back. He's inside the van with like the biggest packet of paprika crisps. What's that, an apple? Yeah, lies, lies, he's not eating an apple. He's munching on crisps. Right, so since we're at a nice spot, we have decided to do an easy dinner tonight. I was going to do like a, a korma tonight, but because it's just so nice, I don't really, I don't really want to be sat here slaving away at the kitchen. So we bought these nice wraps today. I think they're like, well, they're not really wraps, they're like Greek flatbread things. So we're going to do like um, pizza wraps. So we're going to fill them up with some nice pizza sauce and cheese. I've got some peppers or some onions for me and Richard. The kids Hi. probably won't have that. Well, is it done, Jack? Jack's just been getting the pizza sauce ready. I've been licking the spoon. Oh, you've been licking the spoon? Yeah. Okay, okay. Great job. It's showing. <laughs> right, let's get it made. So this was Rich's genius idea what? to cook our pizza. But I just don't think it's working. I folded the kids' pizzas up like this, just like a pizza wrap. That's working, they're eating theirs, but I don't think this is gonna work very well for us. Well, it's the last day we've got in Sweden. We've got a two and a half hour drive to Denmark. Uh, but we had a bit of a panic this morning. We're in this lovely park up next to this lovely lake. And all of a sudden there was huge amounts of cars coming in. And we thought, well, these must be the locals coming to get a good spot to spend their Sunday. Um, and one of them parked right behind us, giving us about a foot. 
and there was a good gap in front of us before the next motorhome and we were worried that someone was going to park there so um, we sort of had a bit of a panic to try and get out so we could actually make track this morning um, and then strangely uh, despite about 20 cars pulling up uh, they all just left again about 15 minutes later which was odd so I don't know some forest cult or something probably going on so me and Pip say good morning morning yeah me and Pip are just out taking the dog for a nice walk in these lovely uh, forests got the lake just there so it's absolutely stunning uh, and as I said yeah we'll be making our way to Denmark so I have to have a quick apology to um, the Swedish because we've only spent about a week here and I know it's justifies much more than that but uh, we'll have to return at some other point we want to try and get down to Germany for the last of the summer and we'll so there we have to go. drive to Denmark we're going to go drive to the ferry yeah. and then go to some islands and then have another ferry to go to the normal bit of Denmark. That's right. Yep. So we're heading over to, um, I don't even know the place, we're going to catch a ferry from Sweden to sort of eastern Denmark and then head down and then take a ferry over to Rostock in Germany. Uh, and we'll probably do that in a couple of days possibly. Thanks for watching guys and don't forget to click subscribe, it would mean the world to us.